So what's going on YouTube? I was sitting in the back of my Ram truck, you know, just kind of checking out some of the stuff back here and I noticed that I found a spot on my chair already. I was like, here we go. This, just got this truck, man. Can't have anything these days seem like. I want to show you guys something I normally do. I normally have these white towels that I have and I was keeping them in my, in my garage. And what I normally do is I would normally take this fast orange hand cleaner and I'll actually like use this to kind of spot clean. I'm gonna see if it works with this. So I just kind of got it damp there and I'm gonna try to get in those edges there and get the rest of that out of there. So that's the before there and and this is the after. So there's not any trace of the, I guess that was pizza. I think some people were eating pizza in the back of my truck. Why, I don't know why, but they were. And I saw that it stained the chair, but it cleaned it up nicely. One thing I like about this is that it has like a little bit of abrasiveness to it and it's white in color. So you don't really like have to worry about it staining and like I said, it cleans really well. I actually use this to clean my wife's car's interior because she has like tan and carpet in there and it gets so dirty uh, just from my kids' shoes in the back seat. So I just kind of spot clean that too. But like I said, if you ever want to clean up something small and you have this lying around the house, this is really good stuff to use to like kind of spot clean. And it smells kind of good too. It has like that orange citrus smell. But I hope this was helpful. Thought I would share it really quickly. It's something I've been doing for a while now, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm sitting at a dealership. I'm at Criswell Chrysler here in Thurmont, Maryland, and I am looking at a Laramie Longhorn with painted bumpers. When I was ordering my truck, I was under the impression by the dealer that, that you could not get painted bumpers with this truck. But here I am looking at one with painted bumpers. But that's not what this video is about today. What I found is I found two Laramie Longhorns with painted bumpers. And this doesn't normally come around a lot, so I want to show you them side by side. I actually want to show you the difference between the two white paints that Ram offers for their truck. Now, I did seriously look at this pearl paint, but if you've ever seen it on the previous generation, I've always seen this not as a pearl paint, but I've always seen it as like a cream color. I don't think this is a true pearl um if you walk up to it i mean it has like a little bit of sparkle in it i mean it's a nice paint but normally when you have pearl pearl it is exactly what it says pearl like it has like a like a really bright white paint and then it has like this pearl and then it has like even some hues of blue sometimes i mean it just it has like a wacky color mixture if you're not aware i mean pearl has like black in it white silver it has like all kind of crazy colors and that's what someone told me that worked at a paint shop and he said if you ever get pearl just know that it's really hard to match this color if you get into an accident or if you need to just do some body work so if you do plan on using your truck like for heavy work and stuff like that and you plan on scratching it up i probably would deter from this color but it is a very beautiful color but i think i still like my white a little bit better i mean it's just very clean very bright and man it looks it looks really good in this lamb longhorn i love these wheels let me show you guys the back of the truck here's the back of the trucks and as you see, that the pearl paint does look good though. It really does. Um, yeah, I wish I, I knew that you can get painted bumpers in the Longhorn. I probably would have bought a Longhorn. I think the Longhorn is like a couple thousand dollars cheaper and I would have definitely saved it because I love the interior on the Longhorn just as much as I do on the Limited. But um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the pearl white looks better than the white or do you think the bright white looks better than the pearl? Um, I'm going to see if one of these trucks are open here. I'm going to see if I can show you guys the payload of each one. I'm sure you guys would like to see that. So let's go find out. Man, look at this interior color, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Gosh, I love this interior. Look at that. That is just beautiful. It has a 12-inch display, which, of course, is optional on every trim package that is available on. Laramie Longhorn, I love this interior the best. They don't have the cowboy um designs in here either which i actually don't really care for but guys i love this interior i mean had i known i could have got painted bumpers i probably would have got this Laramie longhorn identical truck but without further ado as you know on my channel i always show you guys the numbers and i'm not going to deter from that today so let's take a look at them 
So anytime you're looking at a three quarter ton Ram truck with a diesel, you're gonna see these numbers. Gross axle weight rating in the front is gonna be 6,000 and the rear is gonna be 6,040. They do reduce this from the gas model, just as an FYI. You're always gonna see a 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating and the payload capacity for this truck is going to be 2,073 pounds. So there you have it. This is a really nice truck. The MSRP on this truck is $77,550. Now these two trucks are identical. Let me see if I can show you guys this window sticker really quickly. So there you have it. All the options that you can get on this truck, $77,550. Painted bumpers. They are available for the Laramie Longhorn. So just make sure when you're building your truck, if you prefer to have this trim package, be sure to get it. Thank you guys for watching.